Hey guys, it's like from the disciples, and Gabe just Gabe just violated me, and I'm not happy. Um, we're here with another episode of Time Tuesdays uh, with special guest Ryan Yu, uh, following his second place at what what do you call this event? N A C. <laughs> like what? What do you call it? N A not the CQ. Yeah. Wait, it's the WCQ without the W? Yeah. I don't know. Or the Q. Or the Q. Or the Q. Is this the C. Wait, is Ryan muted, by the way? I think so. I think so. I think so. Oh, oh wait, that's crazy. <laughs> 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 but, but it, it, it is right on, the, right on the spirit of this podcast. Exactly. Yeah, it. um, Fitting right in. I guess I just got AC one. Yeah. Yep. AC. Uh-huh. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Okay. Um, proud yeah, the most competent of us all easy um <laughs> but yeah also joined by gabe without a face cam because brazil and uh um, cormac from not his bedroom yeah yeah um crazy other rooms in the house yeah. uh, so, 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 so say this is the first time cormac has left the bedroom <laughs> 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 you know what this this week probably not wrong oh. anyway <laughs> is, it, is it like a shower in the library what are the curtains for huh that's just, uh, well, just that's just a british you know. thing well you okay. yeah, yeah, kind of I, I don't i don't get it you know they don't have them like in canada we don't have like yeah. curtains in our house we just have like Blinds. windows yeah. yeah but they don't look like that those look like shower curtains to me like that's ours crazy. are like yeah, ours aren't now, now, just like now I feel straight. not only do I feel old, but I feel like a world apart now. Oh, <laughs> That's man. the Yu-Gi-Oh content people come to that Tuesdays for. <laughs> exactly right. Is that a curtain <laughs> or a shower curtain. Curtains um, of the world. Leave <laughs> yeah. comments below. What do you think? Curtains or shower curtains? Anyway, that's a, that's a curtain. I think it's a shower curtain now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, we were gonna record a IRL one um, this weekend, but. Um, that wasn't gonna happen. We we were too optimistic, um, so yeah, here we are. I left my face my webcam at Barney's as well, so even more doomed. But yeah, so it's just it's tap Tuesdays for a reason. It's yeah, fine. Yeah. Fine. yeah. I've got fine. some I've got some Oreo yeah. chocolate as well. I'm I'm pretty gassed for my evening. But yeah, mm, um, nice. So how's NAC? your weekend? How's your weekend, Ryan? Did you have fun? It was definitely fun. Uh, the year here was okay, but merely seeing people because I didn't go to Charlotte or Hartford. So uh, this was the first time that I went to an event post timescape, and it was nice. Yeah, uh, I think I think it's yeah. important to put some context. So like, you weren't playing before the event, right? Like, when did you start playing again? I started playing again like a few weeks ago. Uh, but it it was more I just. It was decided that I was going, and then I decided to start trying, or like start trying with a restriction, which is that Ray would be in my deck. But <laughs> it was fun. Uh, I just spent the last few weeks playing a lot on DB with Sky Striker, and it worked out, I guess. Yeah. Nice. Very, yeah, I saw cool. you were uh, were you top ten or like twelve or something uh, going into this weekend or something like that. Yeah, I was uh, I was top ten on DB with Sartzel. Because I got really bored of Sky Striker. And the last week I just ended up playing Sword Soul instead to test. And, uh, I never thought I'd hear the, the sentence. Uh, mm-hmm. I got bored of Sky Striker come mm-hmm. out of Ryan's mouth. Mm-hmm. I won't lie to you. Nah, it, but, it was um, more like yeah. I knew that if I kept playing Striker unrated, I would want to switch for the event because it, it was so miserable. But sure. I think I think I, I ba- balanced the misery. And uh, I yeah. also learned Sword Soul. Like, I, I understood how the deck worked by the end. And it didn't really help mm-hmm. at all because I didn't. I, I, I played against one say. circle, and I got fucked. <laughs> but, uh, but like it was fun, I guess. Moe drawing kept me sane until it was time to end the main event. Fair, fair. You know nice. what? I respect Very cool. that. Um, mm-hmm. Do you want to go over? What do you want to talk about? Do you want to go over your rounds? Do you want to talk about anything like that? Um, we haven't really got a set topic list here, but yeah, sure. So Epic Sky Striker. Uh, not because I thought it was a good idea, or because it was a good medical. It was more, uh, I decided that if I wanted to try to play the event, 
I'd rather play it on hard mode and try to top with Sky Striker because I thought it would be cool. Uh, and also, I mean, I don't really have enough experience with this format to play anything else. So I figured that it would be probably my best shot to play Sky Striker and hope that people punted matches. Which happened a lot because, I mean, people don't know how to play against it. Yeah. Uh, so, so, somehow in 2022, Shizuku is still the most threatening end board. Uh, people see Shizuku with Rangrave and they get very confused. <laughs> uh, I played against, I played against like, a lot of weird decks actually. Uh, I played round one against Libromancer Adventure, round two against Punk Therion, round three I, I I drew this. Oh, I won the first two rounds. Round three I drew a Sky Striker Mirror uh, because you, this is, there's just no time for game three. Uh, round four I drew with Marine Sess, uh because that oh that's a terrible matchup and I, I got steamrolled game one and I got White Howling twice game two. Uh, except, but it was a draw because my opponent threw the map, like he threw, and then I won game two in time. So that was 2 0 2. And then round five, I played against Despia, which is also a terrible matchup. But I, game one, I impermed W Bird, he passed. And then game three, I impermed W Bird, he passed. So we got there. <laughs> uh, round six, I got to play a Sky Striker Mirror, which is like much more comfortable than Despia and Marine Sess. Uh, and I, I guess I won that. Game three, uh, I made him go first, and then I crowed his engage, so he went like neg three. Cool. And then, yeah, it was great. Round seven, I played against Marine Sass. Again, terrible. It's like unreal, because I didn't play against any Dragon like, or any Sword Soul. Like, at this point, it was just Despy and Marine Sass, which are the two worst matchups. Oh my uh, but then my opponent passed game one with no play, because he didn't draw any Marine Sass monsters. <laughs> <laughs> and game two, been. I had like, game two, I had like Nibiru. And then I had like double cosmic, so I just steamrolled him with Ray Engage. Uh, round eight, I played against Blind Second Despia again somehow, and that that was Jeff Jones. And then uh, game one, we both bricked and drew unplayable because my deck is awful and his plays fifty two cards. <laughs> uh, and eventually, eventually, I top decked Ray, so I won. And then game two, he passed to Ash on Branded Fusion, so. Uh, Yo, yeah. shocker. I just want to inter interject yeah. here. Um, just be a moment. I think my favourite part of reading WAF the last couple of days was Quote's channel of who's that guy Ryan is playing against? And then someone's like, that's Jeff Jones. <laughs> and I died. <laughs> <laughs> that was. <laughs> that was. Uh, yeah, I was. Yeah, online. I was definitely day. nervous. First of all, I Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I, knew, uh, like, I knew what he was playing. So I was oh, really? I was terrified of the mm. matchup, and I was terrified because like someone super well known. Mm. But then I guess it worked out. Uh, so I was six o two after being two o two after mm. round four. So that was good, uh, guaranteed for day two. Then I lost round ten in like ten minutes uh, to to dragon. I finally played against Dragon Link, which is supposed to be the good matchup, and I got destroyed by Polly. It wasn't close. Uh, game one I just got like ultra comboed, and then game two I got ultra comboed and anti spelled. So, yeah, that was fine. I finished day one, like, 130th or something. And then two more rounds, day two. I played against Despia the first round of day two, which is uh, scary, right? Except game one, he went set you pass. And then game two, he went allure into allure into set two pass. <laughs> so, <laughs> very lucky. And then uh, yeah. round 11, I played against Phantom Knight. And, uh... Game three, uh, in time, because the matchup took a while, uh, he asked, he was, like, we were in a game state where it was, like, potentially we were going to get a draw, and he was asking, do you want to roll for it? Uh, but instead I just can at him. So, <laughs> I topped. <laughs> uh, and then I made top 64. <laughs> and with 8-1-2, so that was nice. Uh, I was really nervous for top 64, because I didn't want to... I was happy to have finally top something because I wanted to top like at least once, uh, especially with Sky Striker. That felt good, but I didn't want to like instantly lose in top cut and then like just get like just have played a win a mat for the entire weekend. Yep. Uh, so I played against Punk Adventure for the first time in top cut, crazy. But game one, I opened Mystic Mine Engage after Burner Imperm uh, offered to the Doomed. So like per literally, if I could pick a hand, it was perfect. Uh, and uh, for those who don't know, offerings is like 
a card that beats Draco back online because you can quick play pop a token. So that I just held all my cards. So he made his board, he held Draco back. And I had Improm and Burner to bait out the Heron, Herald and the Baron. But then he was playing like a weird version with Mare Mare and Hyper Librarian. So he made uh, the level 10 Master Hyperion and he banished Mystic Mine. So I lost game one like with that hand. Oh my god. So that was a little bit, I, that was really tilting. Because I mean, like I opened like that good of a hand and still lost. And then game two, I didn't have a starter. I just had hand traps. Uh, so the like, guy just drew for turn, like passed, no pilot. And then I, I lived by Ogre and Yazi to make it miss timing. And then the next turn, I ripped Prosperity. And then I Prosperity for six, and I hit Rose as my fifth. So I won because I like, if you hand trap that deck, they just don't have follow up ever. So once you get to the pilot, they can't win. And then game three, I opened, I opened like a six card like counter hand to his. I had uh, Ghost Ogre, Shark, Widow, Cosmic, Rose, and like Prosperity sixth. And he started with uh, Right and Normal Seven Zaman, so I ogred the Fateful. He ended on one card in hand, Enchantress, and gave off a Riser instead of Stone because it's Sky Striker. Uh, and he had Riser dagged to a Hulk, so I drew the Prosperity, used it, he Ashes. So I knew I knew all of his cards at this point, and I was like, oh my god, like this is just such easy game. I can't believe it. Uh, so I Cosmic the Scythe, and then I go Hyotic, like, Dumb Fray, uh, Crash into the Dagda, and then Revive Ray, and I did a play with like Shark Cannon uh, on Enchantress, and then I Kagaried back the Shark, Shark Cannon another monster, and a Chain Droplet to send it. So that put three spells in grief for Shark Cannon to summon, and then I attacked over Riser because Kagari had four spells in grief. And then I made Zeke, banished his Wonder Magician, so we wouldn't draw. So we had zero cards, hand or field, and then I went Shiz, Search, Engage, and that was that was game. So, uh, yeah. can, can you just went how you just explained like a super complex striker turn, but you just said, nah, it was an easy game. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, you, you can like, <laughs> my hand was like super, super good, so. Yeah. You should, should have just seen the play. <laughs> you made yeah, it seem it's like, it's just like a super easy way to just like, you know, win the game. And it's like the super complex, like, you know, having to like drop let's send a spell that you added back to them, make sure that you want to get to the third spell in grave as yeah. the third no, spell. I'm like waiting is for you guys to talk because I'm like just talking by myself. Really. Yeah, no, no, yeah, you're yeah, explaining yeah. stuff, so we were, we were just like. Yeah, uh, we, yeah. We feel, yeah. I, I feel bad interrupting your thought yeah, process. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can yeah, I just yeah, mention, but like, way. I'm enjoying this because, like, like that that yeah. you talking like about that play is cool. Cool. Uh, I I feel I feel too dumb for this. If you feel dumb, Same. I'm Same. fucked. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, out. but like, I have to just go back to this before we go any further. Like, you go through like, I don't know how many grueling rounds of like, Despia yeah, and like, yeah. what was the other really bad matchup Marincess. that it was again? Marincess. Uh, Marincess. Marincess. Yes. All those, right? And you're like. Oh my god, these are all been such struggles. And then you're on the bubble, you sit down, you're like, oh my god, last round. And your opponent normal summons torn scales. Can you imagine how relieved you'd be? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's an easier matchup, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, sorry, I just like saw that and I yeah. was like, oh my god. So nah. anyway, yeah. <laughs> that's nah. all I have to say. No, but yeah, but yeah. Honestly, after top sixty four it was kind of it was way less stressful because yeah, you already got the BLS stuff, all the the prize card, that that was mainly it. Uh, and then I kind of just played the rest of top card very relaxed. Uh, maybe that wasn't the best idea, but I, it was fun. Uh, top nice. thirty two, I played against Banded Predator Plant, which is not not a great matchup. And I got super super lucky again because I made him go first and he passed. Uh, I can't tell if his hand was unplayable or if he just didn't want to play and like get mined or something. But I opened like a really good setup to punish him for passing because I had like Rota, Ferrey, I got a 3k, like set up three gates, and then he's playing Despia, so we can't beat effect negation. And then game two, he makes me start and I open like Ash, Veiler, Hornet drones, which is like a crazy going first hand because you could guard back the drone, get engaged. And then I stopped him and I drew for turn, looked at my hand. I had like another Ash and a bunch of spells. Oh, one sec. Uh, okay, so we have to figure out entertainment for like the five seconds until Ryan's back. Okay, yeah. That's uh, what, uh, 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 what's, what I really struck me though, when I was like going through like the deck profiles from a lot of people this weekend, I think a lot of them who actually played against Ryan, like in Swiss or in Top Cook, who were like playing like Marincess or Despia, 
and they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I played against Striker, which is a bad matchup. And then Ryan's just here, like, no, I'm, these, these matchups are awful for Smash Striker. Awful. I, I, can, I, love I think it. the main issue is that no one practices against Striker. Yeah, though. definitely. Like, yeah, you don't really know what your Striker matchup is yeah. because no one really plays against it. So you kind of just assume, yeah. oh, Mystic Mind equals bad. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, it was good. I love that his entire Swiss was, oh, another bad matchup. Oh, another bad matchup. <laughs> another bad matchup. Another Phantom bad matchup. Night. Yeah, Phantom <laughs> Night. Oh. Yeah. Nah. Oh. Uh, when you. Oh, do you know when. I know you played Elijah on top four, right? And he said that his worst matchup was Striker. Did he actually mean it, or do you think he just did it like for uh, the fun of it? No, I mean. Uh, he didn't mean to get Mystic Mine out, which is like actually pretty standard for Marincess, so yeah. I was surprised. So I think that's probably why. Right? When, when you think of Striker, you think of Mine, not like the real Striker cards. Mm. Mm. But, uh, oh, good reason. Yeah, so I don't think he was wrong per se, but overall that matchup's definitely bad. I got very lucky. That's fair enough. Yeah. Also, yeah, sorry for like, kind of... Nah, nah. Something. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> it's okay. We're so we it. were... What matchup we were in? Top thirty-two. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So yeah. game two, he passed, and I looked at my hand, and it was like Ash and like four spells counting engage. So I thought about it, and I was like, I could either like hold this engage for three like twice and like, completely just win, right? There's no lose con. Or I could mm -hmm. just normal the Ash, make fiber, and see what happens. And I was already up a game, so I normal the Ash, <laughs> and then he died. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it been sad, <laughs> yeah. I've been pretty sad if I got hand trapped on fiber or something. I love but it was, that. It oh, I love out. that so much. Oh my, you're my hero. Yeah, you're actually my hero. I, kinda, I love that. I kind of just excited. I want to. I wanted to be done with it. Like either I get to go like second game three again, or uh, I mean, oh, yeah. I guess we're done then. I love that Fair. so much. That is amazing. Uh, so, uh, top sixteen, I played against the bye, which is Flunder. Uh, you know, <gasps> yeah, everyone else should be thankful for me knocking your Flunders at top right because like. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to play against that except for me. I think that matchup's really good for Sky Striker. Yeah. So, um, so I played yeah. Flunder for a regional a few weeks, but uh, a few months back now, and I played Free Striker, and it was hell. But yeah, it's I, not good. I somehow had a conversation about the Flunder Striker matchup with someone in the last week, and they were like, "Oh yeah, Flunder beats that easily." And I'm like, "Are you dumb? Uh, like, how? Yeah. Like, how you cannot win?" And he's like, "Oh, you, uh, they can't use their link effects." So I'm like, "Hayate is wind." Like, no, <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, it's like really funny. Whenever I talk to someone about like a Sky Striker matchup, like this weekend or just in general, when I hear people talking about it, it's like everything I think about the deck, like people think the opposite. Like, I think <laughs> that Despy is terrible, Rainsis is terrible, like Dragon Link and Swords are good. And then everyone's like, no, 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 like the complete opposite of everything. Like, stri Striker shits on Rainsis. Uh, Despia can't beat Striker, but like Swordsoul and Dragon like, just annihilate it, which I, I, I don't know. I I, I don't get it anymore. I, I kind of stopped <laughs> trying to think about it. Uh, oh, I can see. Yeah. That. Yeah. I, I prefer, I've seen like the Thunder Striker argument, like people on both sides of the thing saying it's a bad matchup. I've seen like people playing Striker saying it's awful. I've seen people playing Thunder saying it's awful into Striker. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh... It's just. One of those matchups, I guess. Mm -hmm. the... Yeah. I mean, I think your list is also pretty good in Chiflander because you're playing like you're playing ogres as well. It's, it's like ogre mm -hmm. Valor, Emperor, Nib. No, no, no. Yeah. ogre Valor, uh, Emperor, Minash, or Flunder. And you have yeah, Tikka on the side. Nibir is at two, so I have a better Flunder matchup game one. Uh, I'm, if exactly. I'm, you know. Uh -huh. You're actually making me salty because I remember I lost the regional because the guy sided in Nibiru. In his Sky Striker deck versus my Flunder deck, and then he resolved it, and I'm pissed still. But I'm still, I'm you, still. You lost. Like, what yeah. did, you, did you like summon two M pens? Yeah, no, I like I I I was going for game, um, because I've been grinding back and forth. <laughs> oh my god, I've been that's grinding, horrible. I've been grinding back and forth, and I went for game. I like tr started tributing his stuff off with the with the spell, and then he just like activates the Biru. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> like what? <laughs> like I just froze for, and I, I, I think I almost, I, I think I lost because I froze because I froze for like forty seconds. Like what the fuck happened? <laughs> and then I lost in time because of like, because like, I didn't have enough time to win. And like, 
I was, uh, I lost it. I actually lost it. That's unreal. <laughs> yeah. The part that gets me is that, like, if it was game one, you'd be like, oh, okay, this is really yeah. unfortunate, but, like, he has it in his deck, but, like, it's a post side no, game. No, he's like, <laughs> no, no. It, the worst bit is, he wasn't maining it either. He put it in. He put it in. No. <laughs> I hate the UK. You're not ready for the UK. The UK, the UK, the UK, the UK is a different place. I hate the UK, man. Anyway, uh, sorry. So that was that was top sixteen. Yeah, uh, yeah. Top sixteen, game one. I just, I like, I hand trapped him twice, and he had a bunch of birds on the field. Uh, but the problem with that matchup for Slender is that when they have when they have too many monsters on the field, you can just activate mine and then play with your one link monster, and they can unless they like hard draw a tribute summon, they'll never they're never outing it. So that's, that was how I won game one. And then game two, I got shifted. Uh, but I drew there can be only one. So... You can only game, have one bird. Nice. Uh, yeah, I game two, I I did a very like stupid play. In retrospect, I shouldn't have done this, but I thought it was like funny at the time. Uh, <laughs> so he had barrier statue in like, set one. And I had Hayate, there can, Imperm set in the column, a twin, and like a ghost ogre. And like I engage and stuff. And I decided... Like, he had, like, six cards in hand, and I decided I would just go for game. So I, I twinned the back row, like, the one back row. He chained Feather, Featherstorm, and then I chained Imperm. And he searched Feather Duster because the twin popped it. So I was like, oh, I guess I'm really doing this now. So I, I burnered, like, my own there can be only one, and then I know the Ogre. And uh, he didn't have any hand traps in his six-card hand, so he died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I love this. At least, not correct, I mean, but I was kind at of least with Flunder, they like don't have hand traps. Like in their deck, normally mm. it's not shifted. Mm. So like it's it's more justifiable that like they're not going to interact with you. But like, yeah. oh, if you had Crow or Ash, I would have been so upset. But yeah, it yeah, work absolutely. Out. Yeah. I think this guy must have felt like such a genius. He's like, yes, I am finally searching Feather Duster. Of, of, I found the out. I searched the my one in 4,000 yeah. game scenario where like, it actually comes. I, I, I used like, a six card hand to like push through one Flunder set and go for game. <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> uh, I love that. Then I, that was nice. top 16. Top 8, I played against Punk Adventure again. Game 1, I. Game one, I had Widowank or Droplet, and he, he ended on Herald, so I Widowed the Hawk, he chained Herald, I chained Droplet, and he ate Hawk, and then just game, right? Because yeah. that, that deck doesn't really do much. Uh, game two, I Imperm Nibiru'd him. I had Imperm Nibiru, Ray, Terraform, like, my hand was crazy, and I lost that game. Because uh, after I Imperm Nibbed him, he passed. And I, I set up, like, double Widowank to steal, and then he ripped e Tally and Feather Dusted me, so I died. Oh. So that was a little concerning. And then game three, I let him start. My hand was double offering, double widow anchor in mine, the one mine that I keep in. So I was like, oh, my, oh like I'm, I'm definitely losing, right? I can't win with this hand. And then he goes right for Draco back, Griffin. I'm like, okay, yeah, this is cursed. And he summons the Griffin and passes. Oh. Because uh, his hand was unplayable. And then I drew for turn. It was Prosperity. So I activate the mine. He doesn't negate because, like, keep Draco back in hand. So why would he? And then I Prosperity for six, and I didn't hit anything. Like, I added an Ash. Like, I, if I had a pilot, I'd just, like, auto-win the game. Instead, I whiffed. Mm -hmm. So next turn, I had to, like, offering pop the Draco back token. He passes, I skip my draw phase, and we, like, pass back for a few more turns. Eventually, I draw Ribs. And I went, like, Hyotic Kagari engage. He veils the Kagari, and I chain drop for it to get it off the field. And then from there, I was able to, like, slowly win the game. Because I had, uh, I had, like, the offering and, like, the Widow Anchors from turn one. With, like, infinite spells in Grave. So... It was very stressful, but it worked out. I had like one on my last Kagari because I had to press prosperity for six, uh, and I ended up like almost losing all my links, but it was fine. Uh, yeah, I mean, so you only played like two punk synchro the whole tournament, right? So it's that That's one. That's crazy, and... isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, I, too. everyone kind of expected it should be the deck of the tournament. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I played against like only two punk synchro, one dragon, one sword soul the entire event. It was just, like, crazy. crazy to me. It's like all the magic still looking for green sass. Hooray. Yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah. And then top that's, four. That's wild. Yeah. Top four, I had a feature match against Elijah. I really wish that it had been on stream because I think that was like the best match that, is, <laughs> yeah. that I've ever like gotten to play. Feature match is a strong word. So basically. Written coverage, correct. Yeah. But yeah, I got the, also watching feature, the stream. Not the stream feature. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm sure it was like stressful for you playing the game because it's top four of uh, you know nationals. Um, yeah. But like for us watching the game and then like cutting to it and then cutting away from it every thirty mm-hmm. seconds. Yeah. It was so. <laughs> nah, me, me and Cormac were actually just going like like we were so pissed off because uh, we're, we're watching it together and so we had like spoilers in a WAF in text form from people that were there for like. One minute or two mm-hmm, that, uh, yeah. that's ahead of the stream, and then like we read, Aaron's saying, "Oh no, Ryan has one card. <laughs> Elijah has like 15. <laughs> oh wait, yeah. he has Tikabu. <laughs> no, uh, like that match was honestly, that that was kind of the definition of like, ah, oh, whatever, I'll play it out because I'm I have nothing better to do. That that was literally DB high rated. I'm playing against Elijah <laughs> in top four, uh, and I, I needed the plus 30. So, game one, I just got like, completely steamrolled. Because uh, like, the matchup's like, not great. I have no cards to his. And I got like out-ran- ad- out-advantaged really fast. Game two, I let him start. And I uh, crowd spring girl and grace so he couldn't toad me. Uh, he ends on the like, marble block, goes in. And my hand is like, Ray, Rose, Sharp, Widow, Derkin. I drew that can be sixth. It was just like, oh, thank God. I think that was like the only draw that gave me a chance of winning. Uh, because it like makes his deck pass for like seven turns, so I get to see more cards. Uh, I ended up setting a rose because like the links had fucking four thousand attack, so I have to set <laughs> monsters to not die in two turns. <laughs> and then the next turn, the next turn I drew area zero, which is like a great clock because I get I get to put spells in grave and I get like more cards to set. Mm-hmm. And then my area zero hits a rose, which I set. It hits drones, which I set. Like area zero hit twice, which is a miracle. And then on the third turn, I drew cosmic, and then I cosmic the goes in. I went away stole this link, and then area zero hit. Uh, it was like twin Terra, and then the third card was engage. So, oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, that was, was yes. that was like insane. Yeah, I, we're, I couldn't, we're watching. I couldn't it. believe that happened. No, we're watching this. So basically, it cut off when you widow anchor, <laughs> mm-hmm. and then it cut off into the crowd. And, and me and Karma are like, wait, how 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 does Ryan win? This? I don't see it. And then yeah, it I comes. It comes back, back and just resolves the engagement. Engage. <laughs> and like, yeah, and like, we, like what happened. quickly. Yeah, what happened? We were just like, nah, there's just no way. There's like, there's no way that Eric Zero had engaged. Oh, right? I haven't like, seen this. Yeah. I need to see it now. Like, yeah. Oh, it's goodness. so funny. Oh my gosh. Oh, he didn't have. He had like. He had like. Yeah, he didn't have Ash as well. No, no Ash, yeah. no Valor, no Crow. Like, uh, I was like engaged. He was like, sure. I'm like, Kagari effect good. Yeah, sure. Okay. Engage again. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe that. Nah, so because so, we were seeing from we were seeing his hand because it kind of showed up on the the POV that they were they had the camera on, and then we just saw like he had like two lightning storms and a bunch of Marinsis monsters. I'm oh, like, thank please. God he didn't play twin. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. I was like, oh my god, thank you so much. This is actually storm because <laughs> if this was twin cosmic MST, <laughs> and if it, was, if it was if it was trap eater, I would have lost. <laughs> Anything, yeah. Yo, mm. my OTS pull of the week as well. Let's go. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, that's that, nice. That that game was fun. It's such a shame it wasn't a feature because we were like on the edge of our seat. Oh my god, that would have been such a good feature match. Even game three was good, right? I don't know. I don't have a game three. Game three was like, game three was the. Uh, it's like you you lose game one super fast and you're like about to lose game two and you come back and then game three you just like game real right? Like you yeah. have the momentum. That was what it felt like. Uh, I drew like the, I drew like pretty much a perfect go first hand for game three, which was area ray, multi roll, Nibiru Ash. Like it's such so good. And then I hit Widow Anchor with the area zero. So I was like, okay, I can't I don't think I can lose this anymore. So I like widow the sea angel and my ashes desires Nibiru him. And he goes set one pass. And then I draw for turn and it's cosmic. And I'm like, Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> And he flips goes in and my area zero hits Ray. So, I mean, it just like everything went like perfect. Like I hit off areas like four times in a row, and he whiffed off a blue tank yeah. like, four times in a row. It was unreal. I'm sorry, I love that. Then, that's convenient. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> he set one. I was like, okay, probably goes in. Uh, like I can put Nibir in defense and walk him under his own goes in. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Then I did cosmic. I was like, oh my gosh, there's no way that happened. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. It was actually straight up our thought process. We're like, no, it's fine, it's fine. Ryan's gonna swap the Nibiru. He can't play as well because he has his Nibiru. We're just gonna keep passing. Eventually, we're gonna draw a good card. <laughs> and then uh, I was like, oh no, never mind. Never, never mind. <laughs> never mind. We're playing this turn. 
Yeah. Sometimes it's just meant to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. yeah. Sometimes you. Sometimes you get lucky, and then, like other times, uh, I definitely used up all of my luck in top four, but yeah. it was okay. Yeah. It was. It was fun finally getting to be on stream for the finals, because mm-hmm. I wanted to have a stream feature so I could like get the Facebook banner thing right. Like everyone does that, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Yes. But they kept like yeah. the feature match kept being my next opponent in top cut for like four rounds in a row, so they they couldn't like feature the next round. Uh, oh dear. But it's okay. We we forced them to feature Sky Striker at least once. We got there. <laughs> we got there. It we was good. It, but we did the team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No. Decent. Yeah. We we were saying that as well when we were um like in our like VC. We were like, how is it that every single round, um, you were playing again like person to be playing against was the previous feature because we were like there's no way that they're not wanting to feature like Sky Striker, they want to like feature Sky Striker right? right? yeah exactly right, right. right. yeah yeah 100% right. um, it, it was pretty it funny because like every time Ryan played and we were like oh we gotta watch this, this feature we gotta figure out what this guy's playing so we were just <laughs> yeah. We're the scout team. It's like okay, and then we have to you have to pause the feature. You have like to look at the cards <laughs> that show up in the screen through the deck. Like, is there a mine out? There was like a, there was like a twenty yeah, minute discussion. There, yeah. there was a twenty minute discussion on the one If we've seen two or three silent mining to decide if there was a mine out in the light. Yeah, because you're like making a lighter deck to see if there's like room for a cosmic deck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at all these like pixels, it was like the fucking enhance meme. It was just like trying to find <laughs> yes. out. Every single character in the deck. I love that though. I love the camaraderie. Yeah. camaraderie. Uh, it's funny. It's funny. Like, uh, I got told like what my top eight opponent was playing, for example, and it was Punk Synchro. And then I like got all this like info from you guys, and I just let him start anyway, and none of it mattered. <laughs> <laughs> so that was kind of funny. Oh, yeah. Was that exchange? I was gonna guy? say. Yeah, that was the exchange guy. Yo, yeah. 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 He was really nice. All of my, all of my opponents were actually really nice. That's uh, good. Except for like. Like you know, like except for like the standard couple that like aren't pleasant. Everyone was really nice. It was fun. Sus. It was fair enough. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. fair. Fair. Oh, it just reminded me, by the way, yeah. before we go any further, uh, about an interesting note that you told us about all your top cut matches. Um, oh, I, probably I, I won every single die roll in top cut. <laughs> so pretty nice. So if I like... if I was playing like a real deck, like a combo deck, I would have won the event probably. <laughs> because I mean, like, who goes six zero in die rolls in top cut? But uh, right, right. instead, instead, I used that godforsaken gift to go second every single game one. <laughs> I mean, it's it's still a benefit, right? Because I think people would probably yeah, okay. start in single people first. People would have made me start in top cut. And it would have been bad. Yeah, mm. but yeah. Uh, if anything, it probably know, like, mattered even slightly more because I think you going first is maybe slightly more dangerous than like a combo deck with twelve hand traps going second. <laughs> oh no, absolutely! It's like yeah. Uh, Sky Striker, like it is definitely like a deck that's like supposed to go deep in top cut because it's very polarizing and it has like the list we, uh, me and uh, Brian played was pretty like it was pretty odd. It was built built to be able to go first in top cut with kind of like offering and the side mm-hmm. patterns, but like still you're probably only supposed to get like a couple of matches in because eventually people will just make you go first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that didn't happen, so it, it was good. Decent. Yeah, no, yeah. very, very cool. Nice. Uh huh. Yeah. Very the, sick. The dice very. Dice very dice yeah, yeah. I was going to say. It's, uh, yeah, very, uh, <laughs> you know, very, very blessed at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that, yeah. And then, you know, we all, we all saw what happened in the final. That was very much a, uh, you know. Yeah, no, I definitely, I definitely could have played better, but I don't mind. It's all right. Well, yeah. well, it's, well, I don't know, we were trying to figure it better. out. To be fair, uh, I haven't actually seen it because I went to bed instead. But... I I made one misplay that match, uh, and it like, yeah, it's hard to say if it would have mattered, but uh, it's more like at this point. Oh, I feel like the event in general. I'm really happy I did well, and I think mainly it was because I didn't, I didn't take it too seriously. Yeah, and I didn't, oh, okay. I didn't get tilted when anything happened. Uh, sure. like maybe before COVID or like in the past, I would have gotten very tilted at like having to play Despia or Marine Cess every round. But instead, it was more like, it was actually just pretend it's DB rated and you need the points. So just like stay calm and play every match. I love this. You know? I love this so nice, much. Nice. Yeah. 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 Pretend it's DB rated. Fair, fair, yeah. Uh, because, yeah, I remember there was one, uh, there was one moment in particular that I remember where it was like, you were like talking, 
make sending messages into into WAF as if it was like a bad beat story, but like everybody knows that it was just like you won anyway. Uh, nah, it's like nah, yeah, nah. but you won, right? And like nah, I feel I like to actually like be upset like that. It's it's always yeah. like oh this like, this stupid shit happened and I won anyway. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Of course. But I feel like that would be the sort of thing like like you were saying where beforehand maybe like that happens and then the second time you play against like that matchup or like third third time and like five rounds playing against that match, yeah. it'd be a bit more annoying. I mean, to be fair, I think for any of us, if we like, we're like put in a position where we're like, right, okay, we have our deck that's good into these matchups, which are like well represented in the field. And it's like, we know it's not great into the other matchups. And like, we'll just make do. And then you only play against the bad matchups. We'd all be a little bit annoyed, right? Mm. Um, mm. But yeah, definitely helps when you're like, you know, not, you know, getting as tilted over that sort of stuff. Probably helps you like <clears throat> win those matchups a bit easier as well. Because you're thinking about yeah. the game as opposed to being like, Oh my god, I'm playing my sixth Despio of this tournament. What the hell? Yeah. It was uh I think the deck list shows it a little too. I just didn't really care that much. That's why there's so many two offs. <laughs> you said it not us. That's all I'll yeah. say. Uh, we, <laughs> I mean, we'll go over yeah. the amount of two offs in a moment eventually. I mean I told you how I like handled my top cut matches. It was <laughs> yeah. It wasn't like, okay, I'm gonna play around like I'm reading this in his hand, I'm gonna play around this and this and this. It's more like ah oh, whatever, summon tuner if I Please resolve. I don't think that's a. I don't think that's <laughs> okay. It's pretty bad, but it's, it's not that bad. It's important to be relaxed, though. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, sometimes you can, yeah. you can lose games by overthinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, that was how I lost uh, game one of the finals. I, uh, I, I pitched imperm because in my head I should have kept imperm. That was the misplay under Mystic Mind because oh, okay. I could have imperm Chang to live another turn but after he made his push, and I could have mined him again and won. Well, maybe. Like, I don't know what was left in his deck. You know, like, I can't really say. But I definitely misplayed. And that's okay. Yeah. To be fair, it's also very weird because he put himself in the position that, oh, he, no. could have, that he could lose. No, no, if, he summoned, if he normal summoned Taya, it wouldn't have mattered if I had improvement hand. Yeah, yeah. And, like, when yeah. I was thinking about it in my head, I was like, okay, surely he's good enough to play on improvement in my hand. So what I'm going to do instead is make it so if I have to play, I'll have, like, the six best cards to play yeah. instead of the six best cards to live. So I kept offerings to the doomed over Imperm, which uh, I mean, uh, I, it was it was yeah. definitely wrong in head because you're never supposed to respect your opponent like that, because <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just like objectively incorrect to assume everyone would play perfectly. Mm. So I got yeah, punished for overthinking. But yeah. like, yeah, I really, I honestly am just like way too happy with how the event yeah, yeah, to be yeah, no, definitely. upset about losing yeah. at all. No. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's better mm -hmm. for that to happen at that point in the tournament than you know much earlier on yeah oh, completely so. i got to i got to do everything i wanted so it was great yeah yeah well, that's fair that's yeah. fair um this yeah is, this is too no, wholesome was... like I'm, I'm actually happy for you like I've, I've, I've never spoken to you properly before like what 40 <laughs> minutes ago uh, like, i'm, I'm, happy. Yeah. I'm genu <laughs> genuinely happy for you because uh that's the that's the same vibes i had and that's like even though i like died i was like i was happy Cause like yeah, let's go getting second in ads. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, it, 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 it was awesome. Oh, oh, that was the after after the finals of the shot. It's our it's family, right? One that was yeah. on the stream. That was very awesome. Uh, I shed yeah. a, I, I shed a tear. I shed a tear. It was very cute. Uh, yeah, I was like, like honestly, I got I got a lot of messages. First, I got a lot of messages saying I was stupid for pitching the beer under rivalry. <laughs> which is honestly, which is honestly more tilting than actually losing the match. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a reason you're there and they aren't. Yeah, exactly. I mean, right. that, that was that was like, I, what am I supposed to do? Like, I can only roll my eyes so many times <laughs> in one night. Uh, but yeah, I, I was just happy to have gotten to like enjoy the weekend, mm. especially because sure. uh, like I haven't been playing much recently. Uh, so for this to be like the first event back and probably like the last event I'm gonna play for a while, it was nice. Fair, fair, yeah. Cause that's the thing now, you're retired, right? Like you go out on a high, so <laughs> Oh yeah. No, no, I was like yeah. I was telling I was telling people like, Oh, I'll probably be at Niagara and I won't play. Uh, and they were like, mm -hmm. Oh my god, like don't be like that down about losing finals and it's like, No, 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 that's not that this was happening regardless. So I'm glad that it it, it went well. Nice. Can, can, nice. can we talk on why why are we retiring though? Like, what's the? the uh, I, just do other, I just want to do other stuff. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. 
I haven't really been as interested in the game. Like, like I stopped playing September last year. It's like almost been a year, uh, and I just like mm. play once in a while when I get bored. But yeah, okay. sometimes I activate some Sky Striker cards and then just see mm -hmm. yeah. It usually, I I enjoy playing Sky Striker a lot more than anything else. So I'll probably end up playing that. Sky Striker next year too yeah. when Sky Linkage comes yeah. out. Exactly. Yeah. Yo, linkage is legal for both ends. This is true. It is legal for uh. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. So, like, it sounds like a motive. Something. Yeah, say, like yeah. We, we mentioned this. Um, I think while while you were getting ready before uh, we started, but how was it um, going to an event and meeting so many people that you've spoken to, like online and stuff, um, for like the first time? Uh, it was it was really fun. It was it felt really similar to just seeing people that uh, mm. that I like had seen before because it, it feels like you know everyone regardless. It's it's kind of the same feeling. Yeah. Uh, like I got to meet so many of the people from like WAF and from the LCS tournaments, mm. uh, and like just from like, random Facebook shit or whatever. So <laughs> that was definitely that was, it. Definitely made the weekend worth it, yeah. even though it was like really tiring. Yeah, I can imagine so for sure. Yeah, because I had like a little bit of that when, um, like, when myself and Gabe and Henry went to the um, to like the YCSs. Mm -hmm. We, met, we mm -hmm. met up with some people that like we'd like you know got to know a bit better um, like over COVID, and that was like kind of like on a small to medium scale. There was like a couple of people, um, but yeah, I, I mean, like Nats had like loads and loads of people from the past like couple of years, yeah. right? So it was just like one big like. <clears throat> group that like you feel like you you do know these people because you do know them like you've spoken to them for like you know mm. last like two years or whatever but you actually haven't like seen them in person it's really weird because like you said for myself when i like said it like you know just chatting to some of the the guys i was like this feels strange because i know you but i feel like i need an introduction <laughs> no it, hon it like, honestly yeah. It honestly feels this felt the same to me as like seeing people that I met in person before, because like mm. so much time spent with them already. It, like I kind of forgot that like oh I haven't I, I don't actually like know that you exist yet, and then <laughs> until now. Fair, yeah, yeah. You kind of get into the flow kind of quickly. Uh, you're just mm -hmm. like yeah, okay, cool. This is just like meet, yeah. like meeting anybody else. And you're like oh wait a sec, this is the first wait. time we've like oh. actually seen each yeah. other in person. Mm -hmm. Wild. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm interested to see what like. Euros is going to be like, mm -hmm. and Pasadena is going to be like, because that's going to be like yeah. loads and loads of people for on our end who like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, you know. Um, I feel like it'll be the same because it feels like it's kind of just like that, but it is like a weird thing where like you realize, wait a minute, the people that I've been speaking to like a lot over the past like two years, like say for like, I don't know, like for like for a lot of like our group, like I know mm -hmm. um, Farak is going Euros, and like I've been speaking to Farak like most days since like mid 2020 you know what i mean like it's one of those weird things where it's like i've spoken to this person for like so much, most days of the last two them. years yeah yeah but never met them it's so uh, weird yeah. um, I, mean, I, I i understand what ryan says though like i remember when <laughs> i was in we were in pasa and then like i i just we just met like tub and june like mm -hmm. going on the way to jump from a plane mm -hmm. <laughs> and then it's like it, it just it like just spent the day together it just felt like normal mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I thought it would be weirder in the sense of like, like how do I call you? Do I, do I call you by your name? Do I call you by like <laughs> your gamer tag? Like like what's the <laughs> the procedure? But like yeah. it, it, it felt like normal, like it legit. It was just like a cool thing about how COVID like made me, it made all of us like know each other, know a bunch of different people that like now you get to test with, get to hang out at events. Yeah, no, for sure, you've, for sure. You've got me um, second yeah. guessing something now. It's like. You had me guessing. It was like, wait, is June June's real name? Is June's short for something? Is June a girl? Uh, uh, like, June, you had, June, me, June, you had, June you had me guessing like for a second, then, and I was like, it's <laughs> it's short for his actual name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I remembered because he added me on Facebook. That's the only reason I remembered. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> we will not attempt to pronounce his second name. Say less. Say less. But we are not. Ash could do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the rest of us are too white. We can't. <laughs> 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 too white. 
I, I can't yeah, remember if your name was Adam or Adams last week. Like, I definitely can't say, I can't try to say someone's <laughs> surname. Like, true surname, no. Like, <laughs> no, 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 not doable. But no, I, 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 um, do, I do get yeah. it all. Because, like, um, mm. even, like, I'd, I literally met Hash in 2019, was it 2019 or 2018? Either way, I met him at, one, at, at yeah. one of those Milans. And then, like... Yeah, 2018. I, it was basically... It didn't even feel like I was getting to know... I just... I was, like, getting to know him properly over COVID. And then I met mm. him. Then I didn't even see him all the other times he was in London or whatever. Like, I saw him um, at Thursday Night Locals before Nationals. And it was just, like, just high. And then we were just, like, catching up. It was, it was normal. So... Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you kind of do just get into, like the conversation is just yeah, picking it lovely. up uh but it's one of those things where i feel like well for myself anyway i was like if i think about it i'm like oh wait that's kind of weird oh mm. oh but cool and then we'll go on um but yeah it's one of those just like funny quirks of you know how the world has been the last couple of years i think it's um, um i think yeah. it's weirder with like Yu-Gi-Oh clout more than that sort of stuff because like i just have people coming mm. up to me like this is like even just at regionals like months ago like oh i like the podcast and i'm like what do I say to yeah. this? Who I don't know who you are. <laughs> like you are a random British guy. I don't know who you are, and I'm scared. Like, and yeah. No, I get you. So like, it's been a good few of those. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I think that's that's more nerve wracking to me than oh, uh, Hashim Mustafa of Oman um, at my locals. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I got you. Yeah, th- those ones are like right, okay, cool, right? I, I um I picked that up, and that's fine. Yeah. I do remember it was uh it was like very funny like in like South America when it was like <laughs> Gabe being stopped regularly <laughs> <laughs> as the as the minor uh, celebrity that he is uh, 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 as as a Q list celebrity uh, it's not fun <laughs> Q list Q list Q list because you got like A list B list C list and then Q list celebrity which is uh, right about where you go players sit nice job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're Q-list, where are me and Cormac at? Oh, no. Oh, Cormac's no. K- no, K-list, right? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Cormac of Kant. Uh, <laughs> Not wrong. Not wrong. Not wrong. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. No, no, I mean, it, it's... Uh, I've been loving playing events again. I'm I'm really feeling bad that I'm not going to Euros. Uh, mm. Honestly, uh, I think... You wouldn't be able to play, right? So, what, what's I, the point? I, I mean... One, I don't actually know if I can't play, but even if I couldn't play, like, for example, if I was in London, I will definitely fly, even if I knew for sure that I couldn't play, just because, like, I got to see everyone. Like, yeah. uh, the last couple of years, Yu-Gi-Oh! has become a lot less about the game to me and a lot more about, like, traveling, about going around the road and meeting people. Playing is just the thing that kind of... Attracts everyone, I mean, right? Like... It, it makes everyone go to the thing. Nowadays, it does, like, even, like, make some trips more affordable. Yeah. Like, I, I couldn't mm-hmm. justify spending a weekend somewhere, like, abroad if it wasn't Yu-Gi-Oh! Because with Yu-Gi-Oh! you make some money back. Wow, oh, he's, yeah. he's so good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting called out by the kid, and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's not that. It's like buying, selling, all that, right? So you do make some yeah, Of course, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but that is definitely, like, a thing where um, I think... I think like June said it. Like June actually wasn't able to play the main event, but he was saying oh, that, it like, was on... tragic. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I don't know what happened. Like with how he lost in the LCQ, but yeah, uh, he had oh, to. Oh no, he lost I... the LCQ. Yeah, yeah imagine first... losing an LCQ low. No, the first one he got outlitched, and then the second one he didn't hear them calling his name, so he got a game loss. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most June loss no. ever. <laughs> that is so true. It was pretty. It was pretty sad. I love that. I actually love that so much. <laughs> like, if I could imagine yeah. the ways that June like loses yeah. a game, that is definitely high up there. That's high uh, up there. No, like June's crazy. He wouldn't lose properly. He but he has to lose to a technicality. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's like that's insane to me. Like, what the hell? Um, but, but hearing him like on like I think it was like Monday. I think it was, it was yesterday or today saying like. Even without like the the Yu Gi Oh, mm. for him maybe even because if there was no Yu Gi Oh, uh, even more so. Um, <laughs> like that's what, that's that's the way he would put it. Um, just being around like everyone, um, like it's just such like po- I don't know. It just gives you like such positive like mm. uh, mental like energy yeah, and like, positive yeah. vibes just being around everyone. Like yeah. me seeing all the pictures of yeah everyone meeting up with each other got me so gassed for Euros. I won't lie to you. Mm. Um, 
Karma like, even tested everyone. today. He tested. Yeah, it's crazy. I asked other people to test. Like that, ha that happens once every like two years. It's oh insane. God. But he sent a message. Yeah. At Hashim, at Chris, test. I was shook. It's the first yeah, time. Yeah. The last time that I remember this, Block Dragon was legal. <laughs> wow. Oh, dear. Come on now. Come on. They didn't have to test this on Block Dragon. That's, okay. <laughs> That's actually just true. Wait. Yeah. Um, yeah. A quick sidetrack. Have you have you booked your accommodation and stuff, Cormac, for Euros? I have. Yes. I'm good. It's it's with the Irish, so I'm taking my life into my hands. Yeah, but we'll me and uh, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Me yeah. and Moffat didn't decide uh, didn't decide we wanted to um, go the poor man route and go on the night coach. Um, no. So we were gonna get the train, and then there's rail strikes that weekend, so we don't know now. Um, you, you, should, you should just get the coach. Oh, the not, coach no, no. Me and Moffat are not coaches. We're uh, not. So something. What are you going to try doing? I've seen some people in WAF, they're flying to Amsterdam and they're getting a train from there. No, 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 no. It's, a... it's, it's, it's not an issue with the plane either. It's more um, just convenient, which is more convenient for us. Oh, no. Yeah, I guess that's fair. We're living the luxury. On the latest now. episode of uh, Travel Plans with the Disciples. Yeah. Travel plans. <laughs> yeah. We talk about curtains, we talk about travel plans. It's a very, like, a multi-use multi podcast. Yeah. You learn a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes to talk about the Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. Not here. This, is, this is more Yu-Gi-Oh! than like we usually have. I mean, yeah, there's not much to talk about future Yu-Gi-Oh! Especially because Ryan's like, low, what's a splite? <laughs> splite. Uh, yeah. I splite. haven't read a single splite card or a single tier element card, and I intend on keeping it that way forever. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're definitely, uh, yeah, you're definitely in a better position than the rest of us. Uh, I, I'm um, genuinely so happy that I don't have to play anymore. <laughs> like I, I was excited to play Nats because I, like, I did start testing and I like got back into the game. Hmm. But now I, I'm so excited that like, it's <laughs> over now. Do I get this. to like enjoy the rest of my summer. <laughs> All right. Do you genuinely think y you won't come back? That's like, because it's a big statement. Like quit, quitting, quitting. No. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I mean, I, this is like the sixth time or something. But like this <laughs> I was time, say, this, time it's, yeah. this time it's different because the last few times it was always. The reason like I didn't quit completely was because there there was always the world's playoff like looming, uh, and it, like, uh, well I guess it's in twenty twenty three now, so I'll suffer for at least another year. <laughs> but I I was planning to stop playing this year like earlier after I played the, the after I stole Gabe's deck for a regional and Chromax deck yeah Gabe and Chromax deck for a regional <laughs> and I won that and I was gonna stop playing, um, and then they announced uh, Nats was happening. And it was like, okay, fine. I, I'll go to this one as the last one because I did skip out Charlotte and Hartford. And it would be a shame if I did, just actually didn't see anyone ever. But this this is the last one. I'm <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, it's not like I'll stop myself from playing if I want to, but mm. I, just, I don't think I will. You don't have that, like, you know, driver to come back. I will say as well, I think a lot of the other one, like other times you were like talking about quitting, it was more from a downbeat place obviously uh, you know, yeah. coming seconds at an event is like a pretty good place to be um to be you know at the moment but i think like going into this thing regardless of what happened you were just like right okay it's just this one and yeah. done no right? i was like very so... sure that like no matter what happened it was i was like that after this like, i get to take a long break and then, yeah yeah um, that's fair yeah so you're not gonna meet gabe and cormac at uh, pasadena then mm, I'll, i'm gonna go to niagara i think for fun but I, I can't really see myself traveling to the U.S. just to, like, see people. No, we're not important. Not important at all. No, no, no. Oh, that's the <laughs> <That's a portion laughs> you guys. I have, I, have, I, have, I have to weigh meeting you guys against how shitty of a country the U.S. is. So. <laughs> that's, that's not wrong. <laughs> yeah. Like, unironically, yeah. I think that it's not a good country to go to. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Okay, as a, as a follow-up of the follow-up... Um, I would like to ask how tall you are. Uh, how tall are you? Uh, I'm five. <laughs> <laughs> five nine slash five ten. Bullshit! Bullshit! Okay. Mm, mm. I, I, no, no, no. I want to know if you're taller than Gabe. That's all I want to know. So if Gabe ever, no, I'm. I'm five ten. Oh, okay, Gabe, you're shorter than Peng. Calm. No, I'm five eight. <laughs> yeah, he said he's five ten. Oh, 5'10". Oh, so we're both shorter than... Yeah, we're oh, both... Okay. No, no, well, I'll put the heels on, it'll be fine, but... 
I'll, I'll buy the heels. Uh, but, now, but, the, the unfair thing is that like I can get to six feet if I like my hair is spiky enough. So I kind of. <laughs> <laughs> the anime protagonist hair. <laughs> it's kind of doomed. Oh my god. Yeah, I, yeah, you, two I, are just, you two are just dead. We do. I, need to, I, I need to start exploring that option. Uh, maybe I need to keep, ha have my hair grow. I've got, I give you like an extra I've, got, I've got heat wave flat hair right now. I need like the anime hair. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, yeah, wait for winter yeah. to come around. Let's see if that's a better. Uh, the winter is coming. <laughs> better yeah. time. Yeah. So basically, what we're saying is that the meetup won't happen until Worlds 2023. Good to hear. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We will. Uh, we're, we're just all. We're all qualifying to Worlds, come on. Yeah, come on now, come on. Yeah, me and Chris have yeah. a bit of a head start, but I'm sure you guys will catch up. Cool. Yeah, we'll do our best, yeah. Are you yeah. forgetting Chris how she's in this game I am? <laughs> oh my god. Nah, it's fine, bro. It's fine, it's fine. You'll I find mean, around nah, nah. then you won't lose after that, so it's fine. Nah, he's meeting Sam, because everyone knows Sam's winning the playoffs next year. True. Ooh, actually, yeah. Can I forget forget that. That. I forgot, I, I always forget that Sam's in that, well, should be in It's that. because... It's because no one believes in it because it makes no sense. Because again, it makes no sense. It doesn't make sense. It, it, it really doesn't. Wait, has, has Sam won more Touch uh, Cat games than you, Gabe? Uh, probably, yeah. No, uh, yeah, yeah. That's well, he, well, he had to win four to come second, at least. Then he had to win three to get top eight at the other one. Yeah. So that's a decent amount, right? Yeah, yeah, that's more than I have. True. Sam is just... Sam's, Sam. Sam's goated. Sam. Sam is so, Sam, uh, yeah. 2019 season Sam is a different beast. Um, my days, my days. Have we, got, okay. have we got anything else to talk about? Do, you want, do we want to do Edison this week, or we should do Edison nah, this week? Just, just do next week, because everything's coming out next week, and then you can get the actual Edison people, because literally you're the only person that's played here. Yeah. Me, I'm in Brazil, Cormac's in Ireland, Ryan's in Canada. Oh, I was planning to just, like, smile and wave while you talked about Edison. I don't, oh, okay. I'm pretty sure that those guys are older than I am. So. Yeah, <laughs> not wrong. <laughs> okay, okay. Briefly, briefly, I play spaceships. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm gonna say. I play spaceships. Oh, yes. oh, maybe. Uh, maybe. Hear more next week. Hear more next week. Look forward to the content. Look there forward to the content. Yeah. Uh, uh, do we have anything else we want yeah. to talk about then? Any? No, I feel like a little to you, your eyes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, if we didn't say it earlier, obviously, congrats, Ryan. Massive, Very big massive achievement. Congratulations. Really? Yeah. Uh, I was happier watching you play than I've been happier like on most of like the times that I do that that I actually do well. It just felt like more rewarding because I didn't feel pressure. Like, yes, go Ryan, go. <laughs> uh, honestly, yeah. it's like it's like kind of mine. I st I still haven't really taken it in yet because mm. the goal mm. was just like the goal was to top sixty four, which was supposed to be like ridiculous in the first place because I was playing Sky Striker, <laughs> and then every round I just like kept drawing playable instead of breaking and I was like, oh, what's this? <laughs> nah, nah. Uh, our yeah. voice chat watching it was like the funniest I've ever seen. It, 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 it felt like watching football. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it did. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yes, engage. Yes, Tikapu, let's go. Mr. Mark. I never seen I, I never cheered so much at seeing someone set a field spell in my life. <laughs> Yes, uh, I, I, I like really wanted to do that. I was like, okay, there's like a thirty percent chance I get a slow play warning for this, but I think it's worth it. I'll just set this. To <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! I love that so much. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right before we head off, have you got any like shout outs or anything you want to say before we leave? Ryan. Me? Oh, uh, no. This was fun. Thanks for having me on. Uh, yeah. It was definitely a lot of fun playing that. I hope you guys have fun at Heroes. I'll def I'll, 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 I'll try to follow what's going on with that because I won't know what any of the cards do, but I will do my best. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. Appreciate it. it. Yeah, yeah. Um, exactly. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, right. yeah. Sponsors, bad. Cool. Sponsors. Sponsors. Oh, yeah. uh, shout out to the Robinhood Games, the Card Market, mm -hmm. MetaMats. Mm -hmm. Game is apparel mm -hmm. almost. Oh, the flag company because now we have two flags. Was it at Barney's then? The flag? Yeah, it wasn't just at Barney's. It was literally where I told him it would be, and <laughs> and and he said the cleaner just folded up so much he thought it was like a dishcloth, and I, I lost it. I lost it. Oh, and then I was, I actually lost it. 
this is around this uh, around this minute. I'm gonna put a picture of me and uh, me with the two flags on screen. Because, <laughs> that picture is good. Yeah, I was I was so pissed. It cost uh, me thirty quid to get this second flag made, and half of that was postage. <laughs> half of it was postage. Like uh, uh, that's uh, so grim. Uh, I was I was I was on a night out on Saturday, and then at some point there was just like a bed with two flags, and I'm like, I'm going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I I am not well. I was. Oh my God. But yeah, um, <laughs> shout out to all of the things. Uh, and if you're at Euros, this come say hi. Maybe. True. True. Yes. Um. Yes. Go take a picture of Carmack, please. Yeah. For me. With Cormac. As, as, as Cormac, yes. in the most awkward way possible, we should take a picture of him. And um, <laughs> if you if you PayPal me five euro, I will video call Gabe for you. Um, <laughs> yes, so, there we go. Sorted. <laughs> Calm. Anyway, yeah. um, see you in the next one. And thanks again, Ryan. And hopefully you come again. So, yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye.